Hey everybody, this is Kilo Charlie 3 Alpha Alpha again with an update on my homebrew 6 meter 3 element Yagi. And I finally got the pieces together for the homebrew hairpin match. As you can see, um, most of this was purchased at a local Home Depot. I did get the uh, those uh, cable clamps, P shaped uh, stainless steel on Amazon. I had to alter one of them, I kind of double them up because the size did not match. My mistake, because the size that they quoted included the insulation. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this will work out uh, nicely. As you can see, we have uh, just an ordinary U-bolt, and we have, uh, I chose 3 8 inch aluminum rod, and of course we've got the uh, 1 inch uh, flat aluminum bar and uh, I think this will go pretty good. Alright, till next time, Kilo Charlie 3 Alpha Alpha out. Alright, this is my Kilo Charlie 3 Alpha Alpha and just an update here. Finished my homemade hairpin match for the 3 element 6 meter Yagi and it did take a bit of work and construction but I think I did fairly well. And We'll see how well it works. I think it'll be fine. So, nice uh, experience for me. It's a nice day out, too. Alright, till next time, 73 from Kilo Charlie 3 Alpha Alpha. Alright, the results are in. And I actually cannot believe this. Uh, the SWR is flat on my radio. Now I don't have an external RF meter so I'm just relying on the uh, built-in SWR meter on my Yaisu FT-DX3000. It was actually flat I'd say for about 600-700 uh, kilohertz wide and uh, about a megahertz wide under 2 to 1. So it was uh, actually unbelievable. I looked at the uh, power supply just to make sure it was actually uh, drawing current, and it was. And uh, I, I just can't believe it. It, it is really working uh, without any additional adjustments. So this is awesome. I, I, I'm proud of uh, what I accomplished here. All right, so uh, yeah, you could do it too. So stay tuned and like my video, share, subscribe. 73 from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Fox November 00. This is Mike, Kilo Charlie 3 Alpha Alpha.